please work. Aren't there like several of them, but only one real one? Yeah. Yes, there are four. There are four consecutive adjacent. Um, adjacent rooms. Wait. Go. Um. Yeah, four consecutive consecutive rooms, like red, blue, yellow, green, I think. And uh, the real boss is only one of them. The other three are fake, but there's no indication. You just have to kill each of them. And uh, one of them will end the game, and the others won't. <coughs> All right. <coughs> this Were might you be... actually playing Mylon? Yeah. Wow. A bold choice. Mm hmm. How'd that go? I felt like playing it. I made it to the third floor. I had really good items. But, uh, I ran out of time. We would have been in pretty good shape, I think. Yeah, you weren't too far off, honestly. I had to do left and right towers still. Um, but those are pretty okay. Would have been a few more honeycombs, and then I would have died to the bosses a thousand times, and then, uh, that would have been that. It's still the most unbelievable thing to me that my wife beat that game as a child. It's like, how? <laughs> yeah, it's... <laughs> it, it. <laughs> <laughs> is, is. Is, is. Alright, speaking of is, is. Let's go. Is, is. Jump. A. Player. Ready? Nine. Game start. Welcome to PLC Athon 7B2. Ah, yes. The B side. The best side. B stands for best. B is for perfect. Perfect. B is for perfect. Oh, shit. We going torch? Hell yeah. I'm going for whatever drops. All oh, right. This is all weapons. All right. All right. I got excited because I remember torch runs. AKA you can... the most impossible category to ever be created for speedrunning. <laughs> yeah. Dog, move. I should do that thing with posting and stuff. Helpful. Alright, let's see here. Where's my next weapon? Doubtful, he says. Doubtful that you should, yes. Mm -hmm. I'm surprised you didn't make me play plus R in the schedule. I fully expected. I he tried. I mean, I was game. You should have said it then. I did. <laughs> you should know better than to let uh, than to think I'd let you do something that would make you look good on the set schedule. <laughs> You probably beat my ass how little I've played the last three months. Where are all the other weapons at? We ate them. I don't want that one though. I should be able to force another weapon. Bear trap is a weapon. Hello? <laughs> what? What happened? I guess I didn't see it. I... I didn't I didn't have any any guess that there was gonna be one spawning on me. One of the few Capcom SNES platformers I have not beat. Subscribe no one. I mean, in all honesty, like, this game isn't easy, but if you just want to slog through it, I don't really think it's that bad. It takes a while, and you'll game over a lot, but... Yeah. Like, you get a lot of lives and continues to work with. Oh, yeah, I've just never, like, I've never sat down with the intent of beating SG&G. Yeah. 
Yeah, I, I mean, the, the first time I sat down with this game and just decided, all right, I'm going to play through it, I, I beat it. Like, it took a long time, and I mm. continued a lot, but... This game's sound design is, like... I love hearing it, because... I never played this game as a kid. In fact, I barely knew it existed. Um, but I played the shit out of Aladdin as a kid, and Aladdin's sound design is clearly based off the sound bank. Oh, for shit. FG. Damn, Nimic going in. Well, let's see. Uh, chest... Four... <clears throat> We'll be able to get armor back. This might be fine. <clears throat> as long as we don't have normal crossbow for the boss, it'll be okay. We'll be able to force a whole lot of weapons this way, and we'll have steel armor back. The biggest illusion I had as a kid with gaming that was shattered as an, as an adult. Homing weapons are good. They can be. They can yeah. be. But in most of the games I see, they're not. Oh, uh... The other thing you have to keep in mind with that, that quote is that a lot of what we're looking at is from the perspective of, like, speedrunning. And homing weapons tend to be a lot worse when you're trying to, like, go through really fast as opposed to making it through content. I think the biggest one was, was Mr. K demonstrating homing missiles in Contra 3. Those yeah. things are not good. <laughs> well, again, to be fair, Mr. K would leave, like, 100 enemies alive and then right. try and hit one specific enemy with uh, the homing shot. Yeah. They also just do really bad damage in a game with, where a lot of weapons can do good damage. Whoa. Um, it does have a lot of big problems against some of the bosses, because the bosses have, mm -hmm. like, dummy hitboxes and whatnot. Yeah. But... Um, you can I'm have... also... I'm also jaded because of, you know, super sub weapon. <laughs> yeah. Which is not a good example either, because that thing is fucking amazing. It's just also an asshole. Oh god, there have been some dodges that I shouldn't be able to do with this amount of sleep. I'm just spending all the good dodges now, so that when it actually matters, I can't do them. Oh yeah, I hope people like runs that don't finish. There, there are some disasters planned. I did manage to finish both my runs last night before I went to sleep, so I guess that's something. Before you went to sleep. That wording makes it sound like you just quit on stream, left the games running in the background. <laughs> Pretty much. I mean, that's... That's about what happened. <laughs> Hello, X. All right, we can make this work. What are the most effective weapons if you're just playing this as a, you know, random new, random new player who knows jack and shit about the game? Crossbow. Crossbow. Yep. Crossbow is, I think, by far the best casual weapon. just covers, like, the kind of angles that give players problems, I take it. It's one of the few weapons that can kill Aramers without armor. Mm, mm. Yeah. That alone justifies it. Um, it's really good against the, uh... Against Astaroth and Nebiroth because their weak point is up. It's really good against the stage mm. 5 boss, because he's above yeah, you. Yeah, that, that makes sense. That makes sense. Um, oh yeah, Temperance. I've had to mute so many things on so many different sites just because people won't shut up about Metroid Dread. 
I'm just like, cool. How about you not talk about this thing? I've somehow managed to not really see anything about it. I, I, I haven't, but I've had to just like immediately be like, oh, nope, not reading this. Time to mute this hashtag. Time to mute this Twitch channel. Yeah, I don't. I just don't happen to be following the right people. I guess. Yeah. Yeah, I've seen a bunch about it. It doesn't really. Uh, fine. <laughs> nice save. Um, it doesn't really bother me. I, I yeah. like. I'm. I'm glad that people are enjoying the game. Yeah. Yep. I'm mostly shocked how many people are willing to stream it. Let's see. Chess. Four, this should be my armor, right? I think this game is much more fun to play with steel armor. I'm not gonna pretend that that damage boost was intentional, but I'm certainly not sad about it. You're not a fan of using the magic spells? Or whatever, I can... Magic isn't really right, it's kind of unlimited. Um, it, it can be fun. Um... And some of the upgraded weapons are fun, mm -hmm. but, um, yeah, I don't know. I remember you working on this and, and some absolute fuckery happening with those platforms. When you were working on routing and stuff. Yeah, there's some, uh, some neat stuff that you can, <clears throat> you can trick the game into doing. See. So the armor is going to be following us for a bit. Chest six. I don't know if that's a chest that I need. Oh, oh, bat, please. These dodges, though. Maybe you should just get not enough sleep all the time. Oh, that dagger animal. actually turned into a lance. Did you see that? Uh -uh. I threw I threw laser daggers and it turned into ghost lance when I collected it. It normally just uh, disappears. Huh. Interesting. All right. Uh, this is chest seven, which is not gonna have armor. It's probably gonna have a magician or a trap. Torch. Um, I don't think there is armor in the drop table anymore. <clears throat> so we are in deep shit. Does anything affect the drop table other than the number of chests you've gotten? Number of chests and what armor you have when you open it. Okay. Um, so we're going to get one more drop here. Um... X would actually be ideal. Scythe would be worst. I was so sad when I found out Scythe isn't very good. It's so hard to find games where Scythe is actually a good weapon. It's so hard to, hard to find a reality where Scythe is a good weapon. I mean, <laughs> this is what happens when you take a farmer's tool and try and turn it into a weapon. Yes. Although, in fairness, <laughs> every single Okinawan weapon in martial arts is a farmer's tool, so, you know, some of those are actually really effective. Oh, um, uh, I don't know how much it matters, but the game is still so casual. I cannot allow that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, get some paws out of it. <laughs> I need to fix this shit right now. <laughs> this injustice <laughs> shall not stand. Get this tainted meat off my plate. Scythe's a very good weapon in plus R. Alright, you got me there. <laughs> in fairness, the Scythe is the weak, maybe one of the weaker parts of that character's kit. <laughs> I had no idea what that character did until that 25v25, and honestly, even after that, I still have no idea. I'm like, did you plant a tree? Spiderweb? What is any of this stuff? The amazing thing is that Testament, like, Testament's base game plan has always been the same since he was created, and he was always mediocre. 
super mediocre. And then, like, in Slash, he started getting kind of good. Like, he definitely had enough going for him. But then Exit Core came around, and they introduced 4D XE Beast, and it was over. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, the, that was... the, the truly amazing thing was that he was, without question, top two in Accent Core Vanilla. And then Plus R was the game where they just overhauled every character in some way, some more than others, but Testament got the most overhaul. And he is undisputedly the best character in the game. Oh really? Oh, is he better than Zappa now? Yes. Oh yeah, no. That that uh that that idea faded probably like two, three years after the game came out. Huh. Oh. Um if Zappa could control his summons, he would definitely be the best character in the game. But mm. the randomness keeps him from being truly the best character in the game. It's still incredible how his worst summon became possibly his best one. Sword is broken as fuck. <laughs> it's it's really, really impressive. And the sad part is, is when I'm fighting Zappas, I actually kind of want to see Sword. Yeah. I can see that with specifically Anji's kit. Yep. Um. Yeah, I don't know who thought having full screen overheads would be remotely okay, but. Full screen, fully confirmable overheads? Yeah. <laughs> They're completely safe. Yep. Is Crossbow wow. gonna be able to hit things? <laughs> oh, buddy. Oh, buddy. <laughs> what a hero. What a hero. Yeah, that was strong work. What is this balloon? What are these things? How many balloons are there? What the fuck is this? <laughs> what is... <laughs> yeah. Wow. Five? <laughs> Five at the start of this? <laughs> balloons were like, bitch, I saw you play the first two stages listing this as Mylon. <laughs> balloon saw that it couldn't hit them and called all its friends to the barbecue. <laughs> Amazing. <laughs> Jesus. This guy used some stupid spell and just went past us. You need to stop him. You see this asshole looking for treasure chests in this place? <laughs> Does he really think there's something here? Does he think we have something to hide? When I started playing Plus R again, I, I didn't know that the Testament had actually unseated Zappa either, and then I remember, like, a few months after Kenji telling me that he, he played, like, a two or two and a half hour set with Keske, who is the best Plus R player in the world. Um, that was the, the Testament in the NA versus Japan 25v25. Oh, and mm -hmm. Kenji... And Kenji was like, yeah, I won, I believe, three games out of that entire set. <laughs> Kenji is the Zappa that you played against? Yep, yep, KB Nova. Please don't shoot me. Thank you. Why are these things not spawned? I'm hit, because I'm dumb. <laughs> nice save on not dying, though. Yet. <laughs> I think that sums up a PLC a thon in a nutshell. This oh, this man. run has been dicey. Yeah. <laughs> Waiting for a mystery flower shot. Oh my god, I remember like I remember the first time I truly watched PJ like grinding out runs of this game back in the torch run era. And there would be Runs that would get, like, every once in a while, a run would get to this stage. And this was the stage I saw the most runs kill that got any legs. Yeah, this, because uh... Because flowers this... would just be like, hey, hey, buddy, fuck you. 
Hey, I know I can't spawn up here, but here's some pollen anyway. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I know, I know I'm not as supposed to be here, but I wanna. Alright, we're gonna death abuse, because dagger is no fun. And because I don't want this guy to exist. Justified. <clears throat> I think I saw. I think I saw one torch run ever get past loop one. Yeah, I think I only got three or four to loop two. Because my strats for Astaroth and Nebiroth were like. Oh, yeah. Those use were torch terrifying. magic and jump into his hitbox and kill him uh -huh. before he reactivates. Yup. Well, just those stages, too. Um, I remember. I can't remember which part it is. The, the Why am I so are... dumb? <laughs> this is interesting. Alright. Well, basic ass sight. Excuse me! You took the knife for granted. Somehow your only death is one you chose yourself, but you've been trying really hard for another one. <laughs> yeah. There's an avalanche here that didn't skip or that didn't trigger, so I'm excited to see when the game decides that that's gonna show up. <laughs> How the hell did you even make that jump? Because I... impressive, impressive. How do any of us ever finish games? We don't. The mystery. All right, basic ass scythe against this guy seems like it's gonna be fine. Yeah. <laughs> you know, honestly, after playing Skelton last night, I legitimately have no idea what the fuck I should do for that game. Oh, well, trust me. I mean, like one of my runs that is on the schedule today, I I have spent the last four days going. How did I ever finish this game? Not even just speed runs, just in general, because I suck. I don't know what it is. It's like... I mean, I... I'm getting old. Well, I mean, I think what it really is, is like, we play... We, like, these were games that when we were doing runs, like, we were playing many, many, many hours a week. And not realizing it. Hmm... <laughs> well, I mean, you, I you, used to, you used to play Richter for obscene amounts of time, dude. I remember I would work for, like... Like, have really shitty, like, work schedule and be so angry at work that I would just come home and immediately start running right through. Just, that was like, my way to vent. Even though that made me really angry also, because it took like an hour to even freaking pull up. Oh, that didn't kill him, huh? Wow. Also, yeah, this stage. I remember you getting a run or two to this wow. stage with Torch Strats, and just every moment of it was just fucking terrifying. I'm shocked. He only needed 10 frames uh, ten frames of contact. Wow. Does Torch do damage on every frame? The flames do. Oh, okay. The Torch Flames kick every ass. Does it do, like, 8 damage or something? Um, it's, uh, 2... 2 per frame? I'm surprised. You they let... dick! I saw him right what? when I committed to the jump. What the fucking drive by? Right when I committed to the jump, I saw it. Um. So the reason I, the reason I take that approach. All right, torch rematch. I guess. I guess. The reason I take that approach is because. Uh, um. Uh, the Aramers have a, uh... They have, like, a, a trigger range. Um, uh, that's too bad. And, um, once you go past it, then, um, they fly away. Oh, okay. I, so, I wondered about that if you could actually de aggro an, an Aramur. Wasn't he or supposed not. to do that, or was that another one? What's that? Wasn't that Aramur supposed to despawn, or was it a different one? So the, the the one that killed me, or yeah, yeah. So they despawn by flying up off the screen. 
Huh. Oh, so he was just trying to get away. Yeah, he was trying to get away and I intercepted him and died. Oops, sorry, I accidentally touched you and killed you, my bad. What a champ. What a champ. So that one flew away. I hit the trigger for him. Um, I don't really know why I'm going up here, because I'm pretty sure this is just a magician. It's a dagger. It's worse. Chest 5 isn't going to have a weapon, I don't think, but we'll check. I almost feel like we could just take all weapons runs and just go everything but dagger. <laughs> like, you could just omit dagger. Can't. It counts. It counts as a weapon. Yeah. It is a weapon, just because we don't like it. Yeah. Uh, yeah, like, watching this definitely brings back a very specific era of of us all doing runs for me. Well, not me, because it still would have just been four lines, but hey. Um. <clears throat> but, like, I could turn on Twitch at almost any hour of the day, and one of you would be working on something. Mostly because Mecha covered a lot of the graveyard hours. <laughs> yeah. yeah, me and Ralph got secured like the free... Mm -hmm. Yeah. I don't know, I've talked about it when I've been streaming a lot, like that there were there were just certain things in speedrunning that were just a joy to fucking watch. Go bird. That that no one else had access to and like you and you and Rom Scout's movement in Soton was way up there. In terms of just like this is some of the coolest shit you can see in speedrunning. Of movement, it's still on another level to me. I still can't figure out how you feel that. Yeah, my my that favorite. Means... Yeah, no, my favorite stuff would be like someone would win or someone would get world record off Rom barely. We you know as strats evolved and the new shit came out, and then like they would they would get like these fucking like you know low seven clock rushes and it's like oh my god look at this shit and then rom you rom gets to castle two and just fucking <laughs> obliterates their time yeah because none of them can remotely move like he can yeah it's insane like dragon blitz finally got there by just playing that game non-stop for a bajillion of years but there was a long time where there were a whole lot of people that also ran Soten, and none of them were remotely close to Rob's movement. Well, it doesn't help for one that the 360 controller is the worst piece of shit imaginable. <laughs> I don't know, Switch Pro controller. Dude, yeah, that would like if you I wanted mean... to, if you wanted to torture me, make me play the collection on the fucking Switch, and then demand I use my Pro controller. That God. I really like my Pro controller a lot. The Pro I controller like, really depends on how you're in the on. The early ones were pretty bad, and the later ones are a lot better. Really, I have, I have, I have a later, later one, one, and then. the D-pad is still unusable. Yeah, I just like... had a couple that the D-pad was shit. Like when I was playing Metal Slug on it a couple times. I noticed like some weird bloody issues with the D-pad, but the yeah. one I've been using now works great. Nice. I've never had issues with it. Interesting. It's a super yeah, good I'd controller like... outside of the D-pad, though. Yeah, like so. just for casual playing stuff, I I have no problem with the Switch controller. I got the high five pose. Nice. Oh, hell yeah. <clears throat> like for me, the big problem was the buttons. Like the buttons just take so much time to act activate. You just gotta They're press so harder. Fucking... I guess. I honestly prefer it over the Switch SNES controller, but honestly, that's just because it feels so stiff. Like, it, you can't squeak it at all or anything. It's just. Did they, a, is that, can't did squeak they make it? an official one of those? I forgot. Uh huh. Oh, nice. It's uh completely wireless too. Pretty nice. <laughs> this poor thing. Oh, yeah, I found my old reliable. 
I mean, it's a control you own, so. <laughs> yeah, I, I need a new SNES controller badly, but it's just like, do I really want to try and order a SNES controller? That's such a terrible idea these days. I might have a spare. I have some spares. It's a dangerous gamble. <laughs> yeah, I know. That's I'm like, I'm like, hmm. <laughs> an already broken controller or a controller that's probably broken worse already. <laughs> yeah. yeah. A Frankenstein or a pile of something that used to be a controller. My, I mean, my SNES needs work. I clearly need to clean it because when I was um, testing like CV4 and stuff with the OSSC and all that good shit. Uh, it was not having it. Like, Castlevania 4 was just crashing. Like, consistently, as were some other cards. I'm like, well, this is not good. <laughs> nope. But I think it just needs clean. I refuse to believe a... I refuse to believe a SNES. All right, bye, broke. zombie. Wow, later. He knew... He saw. He's like, I'm coming for you. Oh, shit, he's got the bracelet. Um, that chest no, shouldn't be a weapon. Nah, no, we have not seen a tri-blade, actually. No. It, it can only show up in 5, 6, or 7. Yeah. Even on loop, too? Yeah. Unfortunately. Tri-blade is shy. I'm gonna die here. Wow. No. Wow. Normally, if you brush against that ledge, you're just gone. You need some pretty clean jumps to skip that cycle, but... Good work. Uh, let's see, chest 5, magician, I should know that one. Uh, there's a missing balloon pod, which means he's gonna show up somewhere I don't want him. <laughs> Didn't um, you have, like, a possible strat that you'd be... Yeah, I did. In, uh... Excuse me, you were gone. What? Nice hit. What happened? The... The fizzy part of the pumpkin seed hit me. Huh. The balloon pods are spawning real quick. Today. Alright, well, goddess bracelet bird fight. It'll be interesting. I wonder how much of this game ever actually reaches... 60 FPS. Most of it. Does it really? Yeah. Okay. The, like, I'm watching on Discord, so, like, that's not helping, obviously, but... Yeah, it's really choppy for me, but I figure that's just... I mean, Discord. that's just Discord. Yeah. It's not an ideal way to, to do things, but... We don't have the luxury of Ultra Mega Secret Server like we used to use for these things. Yeah, it it's certainly uh, been a lot easier to deal with, though. Yeah, oh, yeah, it was yeah. way easier. Yeah, it was a fucking nightmare trying to figure that <laughs> stuff all back then. All right, change your stream key. <laughs> Use this. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, like, we could legitimately change person who's doing every game in between every single game, and it would work fine with this setup. Yeah. Yep. As opposed to, uh... Well, you're on stream. You better play for at least two hours. Yeah, because we're not we're not switching. This game. Oh, game fixing oh shit. God! <laughs> you you have had some dodges. <laughs> His instincts are on high alert from chicken horse. Yeah. I was oh, my chicken Please. horse. Even more high alert for uh, other stuff. I I Bad before thing. I. Before I passed out, I went back and watched a couple of those points I got where you, all of you were just like, no, and I watched PJ stream. I'm like, oh, yeah, no, I'd be upset, too. <laughs> yeah, we yeah. did all the wrong things going Our on. Our connection was poor all night. Yeah, yeah it, it was not it the strongest. It pretty magical. Yeah, I'd, I'll, have to, I'll have to see if I can get Soupy to put those side by side. I don't or think something. you have to convince him. I'm pretty sure it's just a thing that's going to happen. Yeah, it was. It, there was. I love Ghost Lance. This thing makes such a great noise. That's a really good Super Nintendo sound. It sounds like a crow. Square. Crow noises. Crow noises. 
Capcom Super Nintendo. That thing sound died design. in one hit. Oh. Huh. Birdlance OP, man. Birdlance yeah. is back! No! <laughs> wow, he died in wow. one hit again, dude. Birdlance! <laughs> Birdlance is a god! <laughs> how did you dodge that? Birdlance that was... told me that I needed to dodge, and so it told became true. <laughs> there is extreme amounts of wrong going on here. <laughs> If there were, if this was an actual run you were timing, the deck collector would have like fucking two years of ammunition built. Up yeah, it would just be idling outside my my apartment. <laughs> Train idling on no <laughs> tracks, just sitting at your front porch. Yep. Just chew, 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 chew. chew, chew. <laughs> beep beep. I was raiding the other night one of the DPS I'm working with in Tifo's group <laughs> had multiple times where she was like, I don't know how I didn't die to that twister. And I'm just like, oh, so you're you're channeling the debt collector and everybody's like, what? I'm like, just wait for it. Choo choo. And then and then a minute later, just most wrong RNG pattern, instantly dead dragoon, and Tifo's like, ah, there's the debt collector. <laughs> yep. Um, so I'm skipping the gold armors because, uh, I don't want the goddess bracelet. That weapon's boring. It, oh, I mean, it's right. actually yeah, pretty fun, loop. but, um, every time it spawns, you have to wait for that animation, and it takes a long time. I just don't want to. Bird! I think that was a weapon, but I don't think I would have been able to get that bucket. They're goddess bracelet's required to beat the final boss, right? Nice. Nice, the worst possible weapon for Act 3. Oh, nice! Excellent. Uh, yeah, Goddess Bracelet's required. Okay. It was a bird, it was flying in the sky. I'm not if you try and beat Loop 2 without Goddess Bracelet, it just loops you again, right? My face broke? Oh yeah, your oh. face is broke. I've got, what like, you got like cool do? green sunglasses. <laughs> wow. It looks like you just, like, had a piece of your armor chip off, and then you just, like, wedged it back into That's, the eye slit back. of the helmet. Oh, yeah, yeah, just glue it. Just glue it there. <laughs> what a game. Nice! Holy shit! Nice pattern! What? <laughs> I'm sorry, what? <laughs> nice. Like, we gave you a gap. What are you complaining about? <laughs> <laughs> I I didn't even know this boss could shoot that many of those. That's certainly the most I've ever seen. What a hero. What the fuck am I supposed to do, dude? <laughs> what? Wow. You, you. You just tip your cap to boss there. <laughs> yeah. That was just, just really well played. That was incredible. <laughs> Boss was literally like, GG, shake my hand. Yeah. <laughs> Absolutely won. Absolutely won that round. The first five in a row, then a one, a one torpedo gap, followed by two more. Wow. All right, well, we get yeah. to play through the longest stage again. Yep. Yeah, that was mighty as fuck. I'm impressed. Can't can't even be mad. No. All right, well, we have Bird Lance again. Hooray! God, Super Nintendo era Capcom sound design is great. Yep. The little Tom Jones bird emote is pretty fucking great. I'm I a big fan. Say. That that thing is super cute. I need to. Well, I'm already 
hiring LLK to do stupid things for stream assets. I should commission some animated emotes. What's hiding but behind what? that bucket? Is it dagger? Yep. It sure is. <clears throat> Alright, maybe Lower I should I... get gold armor for this boss. Just in case he decides to give me the <laughs> almighty. <laughs> Bitch, I heard you say you don't need gold armor. He's like, well, I'll, I'll use your gold armor. Watch this. Watch this magic spell. It's called Eight Consecutive Torpedoes. <laughs> it's a good name for a spell. Yeah. <laughs> it's, it's a real solid one. Alright, we'll be able to get one more weapon drop, so we'll see. Um, the one we wouldn't want is Crossbow. So, I'm ready for Crossbow fight. Mm-hmm. Scythe would be fun, because then we get to see the game crash. Oh yeah, Scythe has like a bajillion sprites on its hits. Yeah, it, um, hey! Eh, you called it. Um, there is a chance for one more. This guy, please save me, fish. Thank you. Huh. So if you leave, like, the the little point statue things behind, um, like when they drop a basket and a point statue thing falls out, if you just leave it instead of collecting it, then it'll spawn more weapons. Oh. All right. Let's see. When do I... Do I release it here? Even the dragon's like, I saw how many torpedoes that thing shoots, I'm getting the fuck out of here. <laughs> what the fuck do you want me to do here? God damn, you're such a fucking ridiculous weapon. Yeah. Nice catch. Yeah, good stuff. Alright, well, that chest isn't going to have anything. This one is going to have our bracelet. So I guess we'll just start opening this now. Like, the worst thing about this is that two chests later is going to have another weapon. And then we're going to have to wait for bracelet animation again. Chest back here. Let's go have a weapon. Not sure what it hit the second time. Maybe that other chest? It played two hit sounds. Really? Wow. That jump should be safe. Lots of things should be safe, but you're playing. Um. Yeah, plenty of time. Alright, let's think here. Um, I don't know, that think, sounds dangerous. I think we'll probably let the armor just cross behind us. I cannot imagine how much studying of this enemy it takes to be able to have any comprehension of how to deal with it. <clears throat> they're not too bad. They're they're kind of predictable. Just one of those enemies when it decides to go off script, it's just like, well. Yeah, they're they're tough to deal with if you get too aggro. Because mm -hmm. once they start dodging you, then they. 
You just kind of go... Nice. Wow. Alright. Nice save. So, chest 4 is going to have armor. So we just have to make it past this tower. The, uh... Man, that is a shame. Wow. Okay, I can grab it. I was worried that I would have to open that, because I was pretty sure that was a magician. Please? Oh, God. That was... Alright. Yeah, so this chest in this tower is going to have armor for me. Um, we'll be able to get two more weapon drops. Sweet. Oh, man! Hello. Some spawn rate here. <laughs> yeah. I'm getting a little bit worried about this tower, like, failing to load sometimes. Which SG&G card is this? Bad card? Oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, buddy. Alright, well, the tower is loaded long enough for me to leave them. Um, we have perhaps the worst weapon for this fight. Life is a bit of a problem here. Having limited hit rate on the boss, you need to hit a lot. Yeah. Um, the other thing is that the boss trigger is in the wrong spot. Now, yeah, I was going to say, what are you doing right? on this platform? <laughs> yeah, the, the boss should have spawned on the other one. That's going to complicate this dodge. Yeah, good work. Bad card is just... SG&G bad card might be your most devious bad card out of all of them. I don't know how to dodge it this time. <laughs> Ooh, all, right. all right. Um. So, believe it or not, unupgraded scythe is actually better DPS than upgraded scythe against this boss. Because I think it does six damage, but you can hit twice as opposed to nine damage once. Hmm. Okay. Well. In there. Where is this chest trigger? They've been giving me a lot of Lance, which I am all about. I, I like this weapon a lot. Lance gets a lot of shit because it's the starting weapon, but mm -hmm. Lance is the truth. I say, Lance feels like a weapon that wouldn't be the worst thing to learn how to play a lot in this game with. No, it's got it's got pretty moderate fire rate. Um, it's got decent damage. What's Lance's gold armor magic do? Lightning. That's right. Okay. Lightning is good. It does two damage per frame. But why have lightning when you could have bird lance? Bird lance. I love the noise that this thing makes. It's yeah, so it's good. Really cool. Go, please. All right. Let's see how many balloon pods we get this loop. Hell yeah. <laughs> how many can spawn without outright crashing the game? I don't know if we'll be able to beat five from up there. That was yeah, that, that was, was a new mighty. high score. Do all the gold armor magics charge at the same rate, or are some of them faster than others? Um, it depends on uh, the armor or the shield that you have. Oh, okay. I didn't know that. That's interesting.
Yeah, the starting shield uh, charge is pretty okay. This shield charge mm -hmm. is mega fast. Okay. Uh, and if you have no shield, it's a really slow charge. Huh. That's an interesting thing to base on. I guess it makes sense, because it's like you're fully upgraded versus not. Yeah. But yeah, I did not know that. That's neat. I like how the budget or the uh, the icon for charge magic on this is just budget screw attack. Yeah. <laughs> All right, now. you supposed to find that chest ever you like, just jump you... off and die a lot and then go wow <laughs> look at that a chest appeared <laughs> please okay thank you bad luck flower nope these flowers have been spawning late it's concerning me Through shield? No. Wow. Random grunt shield just shuts down the goddess bracelet. Impressive. Do the ice vine thingies not have a hitbox until they're fully formed? Yeah. Okay. The armor dance is so good. It's really nice. Alright, so that's <laughs> doop, chest doop. three. The next one will have a weapon for us. That wolf had some ideas. Yeah. But he's not allowed to have ideas. Tornadoes! Oh, chest five is a goddess bracelet, huh? We didn't see it. We can't see it. It's... Yeah. Wow, weird. Nothing spawned there. Hmm. Yeah, man. Nutty. All I saw was that big money bag. Is the tornado magic actually good? No. Okay, I, I <laughs> no. thought so. No. I was trying to, I, like, obviously the pattern it travels is garbage, but I'm like, does it do, like, a bunch of damage or something? I don't remember. It's, uh... It does six damage once in a while. Six damage once in a while. <laughs> it's like the the hit interval for the shield magic and the tornado is weird. Um, it's not a consistent number of frames. It's just like sometimes. Nice. I was about to ask how you walk through that bear trap, and then I totally forgot about avalanche iframe glitch. I love it. The scythe I, exclusive I tech. It. Yeah. We'll pretend. Trick new runners with that. There you go. How'd you do that? Oh, you have to use the scythe. It's worth it. <laughs> it's eight seconds faster. Trust me, I timed it. I have a stopwatch. Yeah. Oh my god. The number of people that would buy that is not small. <laughs> yep, truth. Um, Are we being integrated into the route right now? Oh, yeah, you asshole! Wow. Wow, what a hero. Aramers have 35 health. 
Tornado does six damage. So yep. that, that gives you an indication of how frequently it hits. Nice. Alright, well, the good news is we can fix this. Um, if the armor will let us. We'll have to ask nicely. Alright, so we need him to swoop and miss. And then we will despawn him. That way. This is chest four, which is armor. When you have armor, chest two is a weapon. This one's er, chest two is uh, bronze armor. Chest one's what a weapon. What was with the scythe like sliding down the platform there? If you crouch, then the scythe follows terrain. Really? Yeah. Huh. I can see that being kind of useful. Just like that. We got our armor back and a new weapon and gold armor. Oh, yeah. The Ghost Lance icon looks like one of those really angry fucking fireworks you buy from a depot store across <laughs> yeah. the border in a state that sells fireworks. Hello! Wow. Wow. He wanted some. <laughs> I'm here! I'm ready to go! Put me in, coach! Holy shit, dude! Calm, wow. you, calm your shit! Party time! <laughs> Just firing the fire Man, while the laser was it. coming out. <laughs> My man's chose violence. Only one option. Oh man, you dickhead. Wow. Um, all right. Baby we have to die. We don't have no. enough chests to get goddess bracelet now. Mm. I got greedy. I wanted to kill all of them with lightning, and instead I didn't kill any of them. Also a good choice. The enemy oh, aggression man. level is, uh, big. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, why big? <laughs> that was an interesting double tap. My thumb was ready, but the rest of me wasn't. Please, Torch. Extendo Birdhead is a strange enemy for such a late portion of the game. Um, this is gonna be a tough kill. Do I remember how to do this? Your hands might. Your brain probably doesn't. That'll do. Good work. <clears throat> I don't know if I've ever actually seen the... I mean, I'm sure I have and just forgot about it, but I do not remember the torch magic at all. Um, the torch magic can do some really filthy stuff. Hmm. Um, there are some boss some boss kills that I was uh, theory crafting years ago that use torch magic plus, like, the plumes of the torch. And oh, you can, okay. And you can absolutely smash some of the bosses. Like, you kill the, um, the stage 3 boss, the worm, you can kill uh -huh. him in, like, half a rotation. Holy shit. That was greedy! Oh yeah, my god! Was. Yeah, it was! <laughs> Holy shit! Calculated, I guess. Yeah, sure. I love okay. how you effectively have to fucking, like, you cannot take a hit in either of these fights if you want to beat the game. 
He can take one hit. Why is he not attacking, dude? Oh, that's right. You don't lose Goddess Priest. He's all attacks in phase one. Did he have yeah, half health? Did I spawn the wrong loop, boss? Is it just gonna give me the goddess bracelet cutscene again? <laughs> that would be amazing. Nope, nope, you're good. There you go. I'm excited for laser at angle that he's not actually able to shoot in. Yeah. Platforms just come out and fall. <laughs> nice delayed pattern. Yeah. There's there are ways to handle all of the different patterns, but like I don't remember any of them. And usually what happens if you try and get cute is that you just get hit and then you have to wait an extra cycle. What's I the just think it loses a lot of damage when you lose gold armor too, doesn't it? Um yeah. It it at point blank it does the same amount of damage. But can you can you two cycle that boss? Less. What? Yeah. Can you? Okay. I couldn't remember if you could two cycle him or not. Yeah, the two cycle is actually pretty simple too. I just oh, okay. I don't remember. I don't remember the jumps. Oh God, we did it. Well done. We had to replay the longest stage, but we did it. The game earned earned that time loss. Yeah. Yeah, it did. Brought the pain. Speaking of pain, there there were some heroic dodges in there, though. Yeah, there were, there were some real good ones. All right, let's see if I can get Amarok to recognize the switch. Without <laughs> the track by armor was strong. That was <laughs> that was a bold that was a bold play. Oh man! I think I think uh, stage two, loop two, boss wins MVP. Yeah, for that, yeah that one though. wins for sure. Absolutely no contest. L literally, GG, shake my hand. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, boss realized that he doesn't have to stop shooting those if he doesn't want to. Boss right. was literally the I spike you five times with no <laughs> lag. <laughs> Yeah, the five consecutive spike play. <laughs> oh my god, what a uh, what a game! All right, let's see. This 